In news from Sri Lanka, amid the ongoing political upheaval in Sri Lanka triggered by the ongoing economic crisis, Prime Minister Mahinda Rajpaksa has reiterated he will not resign. His remarks came as the main opposition party began a six-day protest march on Tuesday, blaming the Rajpaksa government of mismanaging the economy. Sri Lanka's Prime Minister Mahinda Rajpaksa has rejected calls for his resignation amid nationwide protests over an ongoing economic crisis but said he will step down if he loses the majority in the parliament. Speaking during a meeting with members of provincial councils at his residence on Tuesday, Rajpaksa said that his government came to power with a popular mandate. If a certain section of people want them to go, they can do it through an election. This came as Sri Lanka's main opposition party, led by Sajid Prem Dasa, began a six-day protest march on Tuesday, which is expected to end in capital Colombo on Labour Day with a major rally to demand resignation of President Gotabaya Rajapaksa and his cabinet. The country announced a suspension on some of its foreign debt repayments earlier this month and said it would divert its mega reserves to fund essential imports such as fuel, cooking gas and medicine. Soaring inflation and shortages of essentials have created a civil unrest across the nation. Meanwhile, the president's office in a statement informed the World Bank has agreed to provide Sri Lanka with $600 million in financial assistance to help meet payment requirements for essential imports. The Sri Lankan government has also appealed to multiple countries and multilateral organizations for bridge financing before it meets IMF conditions for a loan program. <laughs> 